Hi there. Good morning to you. At the time of filming this, it is still very early in the morning here at my end and um, I really did feel the need to stop by and let you know that I'm okay. I'm all right, you know, um, and basically since this is more like a vlog for me, um, this channel more like carries you on through the day or the life of a single parent, I stopped at myself and said, oh, Eunice, come on. How else would they know what the life of a single parent is like if you do not carry them along? So I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to just do that. Yeah. So today basically is um, focused on my mental health. I'd like to share with you on the state of my mental health right now. Like seriously, it's not been fun. At least this past few days have not been so exciting for me. Though it's been mixed with a lot of um, happenings, both positive, negatives, and um, basically how I chose to dwell on these issues. So remember in the previous episode, which was recently posted, I did share with you basically what it actually takes to become a single parent. And I promise that in the next um, coming episodes, I will share with you on the misconceptions of single parenting. So today, anyways, I'm dropping this first before the other video comes and um, just to share with you on the state of my mental health. In case you're just joining, in case you're just seeing this for the first time, this is Lifestyle with Eunice Versatile. And basically we share with you the lifestyle of a single parent, what a single parent typically, typically goes through. Um, our funds, our, our, our sad days are not so good days. So today happens to be, actually today is a bright day. Maybe you can hear the birds chipping, the cocks crowing and all of that, but all the same, I'm going to do this anyways. Okay, so how have I been feeling this past few days? In all honesty, I've not really been feeling top of myself. I've not been feeling at my best recently. So, um, well, like you know, everybody has got a personality. Everybody has got different sides to themselves, right? We've got the, the mental, the physical, the spiritual, and all the other alls, right? Financial, emotional, and all of that. So um, in the past week, in the, in the previous week, I actually did start having some down times um, due to, I, I started feeling really emotional. Let me use that word. I started feeling really emotional and it rather gave me like a downward slide to my emotional and mental well-being. Uh, basically, I got not so good news um, from my ex partner um, concerning the welfare of the kids, uh, the children and all. So, um, it, it really put me off in a certain mood. These are some of the challenges um, that single parents face, which I'll be updating in the next video, okay? So basically, it had to do with money. And trust me, I believe that if you're seeing this and you're like in a family setting, like you have father, mother together, you will agree with me that it's really tough when there is money issues. You know, whenever money issues come up, there's, it's, it gets really tough. Everyone begins to feel the tension. Now imagine a single parent one person taking care of children how you would feel when you know that challenge comes or when that pressure comes it's not easy for two people how much more one person like seriously it isn't you know so that pressure comes oh the need to pay fees you know due to the demand from the schools now you know uh, due to the lockdown due to the covid 19 schools are having to do it online right so fees need to be paid teachers need to be taken care of while the students need to be educated so they don't stay off for a very long time and then this money challenge comes and then you're having to think about how to meet up with the deadline and um you know the other person whom you are looking up to to meet that need gives you a negative response honestly it would not feel nice and that's actually one of the ways i did feel in the previous week coupled with the fact that i got a sick parent who's at the hospital and unfortunately i can't seem to reach or get to her to take care of her and then um all the challenges you know debt related and all of that and the fact that one doesn't get you, your, your work is not really top notch and then the icing on the cake um in case you know, in case you don't know either, um, I'm actually a mental health lay counselor. Okay, so the organization I practice with, the Mind Wheel Project, we have been offering these free counseling sessions to the public, the general public. So we have people who come in from call in from other parts of um, Nigeria, seeking you know someone to help, someone to just give them psychosocial support. So I am actually on the team of um, 
the the volunteers, the counselors that are doing this good work, and um, having to deal with people, listen to other people call in and all of that. Honestly, it does mount pressure directly or indirectly. And the pressures become really obvious when you're already having an issue on your own. You know, when you're having to actually deal with a certain issue personally, then you begin to feel it. It becomes really impactful. I had to speak with my supervisor because all counselors have their supervisors. So I spoke with my supervisor and, you know, he, of course, part of his, um, the practice is to ask you how you feel and how the sessions have been impacting on you. And it was at that point I had to pause and I'm like, okay, this is actually a very valid question. Eunice, how are you feeling? And it was at that point I broke down in tears. Breaking down in tears, breaking down to tear up was not foreseen. I didn't see that coming. And then, you know, when I had to start talking about it, it was at that point I felt, okay, so this is how full, how topped up I have been. And I never knew. And, you know, I had to relate to him a few of the things I have been bearing in my heart for this long and how it's, I have actually been finding it difficult, but I never accepted that fact, you know. Um, it's more or less what you might call the superhero syndrome. So the superhero syndrome makes you feel you can meet everybody's needs, you can be all good, you can be all that, you know. And then he said to me, he said, okay, Eunice, you know, it's always good to take care of yourself. And that is one rule in counseling self-care is paramount at every point in time you should always take care of yourself and it was at that point he said to me you know what take a break why not stop taking sessions at the moment so that you take care of yourself reflect in words um you know and get better and it was good advice it was good advice because but on this side i felt like I'll not have to not take sessions. I'll not have to not be there for anyone or the people who might need me. But still, I got that information communicated to um, a booking consultant so that I'll be taking off the schedule for the time being while I deal with the issues. And you know what? By the very next morning, I did feel better. I mean, I felt so great. Like my head was cleared out and I felt like somebody had been lifted off me. And that's actually the beauty of having to talk about your problems with somebody. You know, sometimes it's just great to talk about it with a complete stranger, someone whom you know would not necessarily judge you, right? So I, I felt lighter and then I had a clear head and then I was like, okay, so this is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do as far as this issue is concerned and this issue is concerned and that issue is concerned. And guess what? Coincidentally, or maybe not, my mom gets um, discharged from the hospital. You know, I mentioned the family member was ill, so it would happen to be my mom. So um, she gets discharged from the hospital and back home. And the mood is like lifted a bit, like, oh my God, you know, how everything just tends to work out, you know? So I felt a lot lighter on that, uh, on that level. And then I looked on the other side and um, looking at my children, I feel, okay, hope, you know? And immediately the ability of the ex not being able to meet up, I still, one way or the other, was able to meet up that need. And it became a bit clearer, and that way, my hope began to elevate. Now, why am I saying all of this? I'm saying this because our mental health is as important as our physical health. In all honesty, our mental health has a lot to impact on our physical health. Like, it's the hub of every of our being. So if your mental health is not in check, honestly, every other part of your, your system of your being will begin to spiral. So that I had a clear head. And then guess what? I was able to exercise. Like I noticed I needed a, a little amount of exercise. Not that I don't exercise. I'm very active physically, but like to intentionally put practice into work. So I decided to engage in exercise and start doing exercises and of course my yoga and I did that a lot um, you know following days and in all honesty I have been having a swell time another surprise yes I picked up a book and started reading now one of the books I, I love to read and um, we'll be reviewing books in a bit you know sooner so um 
One of the books I actually did pick, I have a couple because I use this app to do my readings most times. I also have physical books likewise. So I picked up this book called The Miracle Mornings by Hal Elrod. I don't know if you've ever read it. I don't know if you've ever heard about it, but in case you've not heard about it, the book is called it's The Miracle Mornings by Hal Elrod. I will put the information on the description so maybe you can get a hold of the book. It is amazing. It's an interesting book, honestly. Like, if it, it will change your life, how to help you organize your life, how to learn to wake up early and all of that, feeling bright and, you know, bright and happy and excited about your day. And that is exactly how I have felt. I started reading the book. I will be sharing with you on the book um, subsequently by the time I'm done with the book. Okay, let me get the best part of it and then I'll share with you. So it's actually been really exciting and I felt the need to come talk to you because I believe there might be someone who might need to hear this. You might just want to be the one to hear this right now. So I'm saying to you in general, I'm saying to you in a nutshell, take care of your mental health. It is very important. If you feel the need to talk to someone, talk to someone. If you feel the need to just cry, then do it. Cry, clear your mind, clear your chest. Get it off your heart. Get it off your mind. Unburden, okay? Basically, unburden and feel better the other aspects. So that's the much I can share with you today. It was actually very nice. It feels really good to just talk. Oh my God. Like, knowing that I'm talking to hundreds or thousands or even um, a few tens of people right now who might not really know me, it feels good to talk about it. It feels good to feel good and um, it does feel good to feel clear mentally. All right, so this is Lifestyle Witch is Versatile. Don't forget to subscribe, to like this video and watch other videos and as well comment. If you feel the need to talk to somebody, if you feel the need to talk to a professional, you know, about anything bothering you, you can reach out to me, comment or send me a message directly. My um, social media handles will be placed on, in this video too. So you might want to reach out to me and I will share the details with you directly. And if you as, are a single parent and you feel you would like a community, you know, to be a part of a community, we do have our community. So you can reach out to me likewise and I will get you hooked up. Okay, so thank you for standing by. Thank you for staying tuned. Thank you for truly subscribing and being an ardent follower of this channel. I am super, super, super grateful and happy. Namaste, love and light. Peace.